Hello friends, myself Trishul Kulkarni and uh, today I am making this video specifically for my students at MIT uh, who are under me for either project work or IPT work. Uh, in this video we are going to learn how to make the use of Google Docs for collaborative report writing. Now usually what happens that student those who are doing either project work or IPT they prepare the report and uh, send it to the mentor or project guide through email or in a pen drive then uh, project guide looks into it and make some changes and give them back send them mail back and it takes a lot of time in all this process and it is very error prone process now there are really good wonderful tools available which are online like Google Doc where not only uh, it is possible to keep everything online and it is possible to collaborate also what is meant by collaborate is that a teammates let us say there are more than one student working on one project so they can collaboratively make a report they don't have to send the mails to each other and at the same time a mentor or a project guide can review your document make changes give comments at the same time so this is a really wonderful tool and I think and I rather I advise that all my students should use this so in this video we are going to learn how to make a Google Doc how to share that Google Doc with your teammates and with your project guide how a project guide or a mentor will provide you a comment how to assess those comments and how to work and how to deploy the various features that are available on Google Docs for effective report writing okay so uh, Google Doc is available on your Google Drive if you have uh, a gmail account it will be available to you so let us go to the google drive once you are in google drive you can see this screen now there is a new icon over here button over here if you click on this button uh, you will get a new document now i have already prepared one sample report for you people okay so this is the one sample report we have prepared now the first thing that you are going to do is that give some name appropriate name to it rename it from this side and share this particular document with your teammates and with the uh, the mentor or guide okay so if you type the name of your project guide over here okay and you can share you can also write some message to him and you, if you send it it will get shared now there are three options either as a viewer as a commenter or as an editor so I will recommend that make a editor uh, as a your option so that your project guide can edit that document also okay now this is the typical uh, project report so usually it have a title it have abstract it have introduction it have a literature review it have a methodology result and discussion conclusion and references now let us see uh, how a mentor or a project guide can provide the comments to you okay so if I select uh, this particular portion uh, I will get plus sign over here it is saying me add comment so I can add comment over here like change the title okay and if I comment over here uh, the project book group members will 
get this as a some comment over here and uh, you have to act accordingly whatever comment is, has been given and once the comment uh, you have done the changes in your document you have to make it a resolve so what is the result that you have worked on this comment and you can make it a result so that will disappear from here okay now another changes is that here is a document outline this is also a wonderful feature that we can make use of now here there is a title right so what you can do you can select the style over here right so if you make it as a title right so it will become the title in your document right and it will appear on the outline document outline over here and if you're not happy with the font or something you can always change it right so if you want to make it little small okay and uh, you can do it and also you can change the style accordingly whatever you wish then usually uh, we have after title we have certain headings so abstract is usually a heading one right so you can make it as a heading one right okay so this will appear over here so introduction is your heading two uh, uh, introduction is again and kind of an uh, uh, one of the major heading again your literature review is your major heading methodology you can make it as a heading one now you must be noticing that all these things are appearing on a document outline and you can make a table of content out of it so that is the beauty of this thing now i am making all these things as heading for my document and after that what we are going to do we are going to add the subheading to this document so this was your introduction and in introduction if you want to write the sub heading you can see that this subheading has been appeared over here in this document outline now let us prepare the table of content for that you need to go to the section of an document where you want to put the table of content and go in the insert option at your bottom you will find there are two options one is with page number if you select that you will get a table of content which can which is automatically generated so whatever headings and subheadings that we have created all these are appearing on this table of content now if you go and add other subheading okay it will automatically get upload updated over here and this is how you don't have to make a separate table of content uh, and also you can see that the page numbers will be it will take it automatically so you don't have to go every time and change the page number so uh, this was about the short introduction of an google docs i hope this will be helpful for you people to write down the project report and uh, thank you all the best